Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when the game is not launching on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to try different Windows power plans. Now for this, type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel. Now click on hardware and sound. Now go to power options. Now over here, first of all, try high performance. Now this has worked for many players. So select high performance and then you can check. If that does not work, you can even try balanced and then you can check if that does not work you can even select power saver so if you have this option power saver you can select power saver and then you can check so one of it it can work so you can try different options over here and then check now still not working the next step is to select Bethesda net launcher now for this you can go to game installation folder make a right click in the game select manage now click on browse local files it will take you to the game installation folder open the launcher folder now if you don't see launcher in that case you can make a right click on setup and then you can show more option and then you can use 7-zip if you don't have 7-zip you can install it 7-zip from google you can search it and install it and then you can extract here once you extract here so it will create another setup folder inside that folder you might see launcher folder so you can open this launcher folder and over here you can see bethesda.net launcher just select it do not double click just select it now once you select it now hit the enter key on the keyboard so select it and then hit the enter key and this will open the launcher and then you can launch the game from here and then you can check so you will see the play option or if, if it's updating let the update complete and then you can launch the game and then check if that does not work then if you're using intel extreme tuning utility software in that case you can lower down performance score ratio to 56x or 55x so if you have intel extreme tuning utility in that case uh, you can open it and then you can lower down performance score ratio to maybe 56 x or 55 x and then hit apply and then you can check this has worked for many players so it might work for you now the next step is to repair the game launcher now to repair the game launcher when you launch the game it will open the launcher now once the launcher is open now over here uh, you will see game options click on the game options and then you will see the repair option hit repair once the repair is complete launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast norton bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you're using windows security then open windows settings and then go to privacy and security if you have windows 11 in windows 10 click on update and security now click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add and allow app click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder so in my case the location is over here so open the game folder and then select all the exe file and all add all the exe files so first of all open this folder game client and select this exe file click on open and again click on add and allowed app browser apps select this exe file click on open add all the exe file over here again browse all apps and then if you have the go back and if you have the setup folder, add it. Browse all option, launcher, select everything over here. Now, once you add all the exe file, now type in control panel in Windows search box, go to control panel, system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change settings, click on allow another app, click on browse, and then go to the game installation folder.
open the game folder and then open game client select this exe file and then click on open click on add again click on allow another app click on browse and then select this exe file select all the exe file one by one and add it to the firewall so i'm not adding everything over here now once you add everything all the exe file now launch the game and then check now the next step is to run the game from the game installation folder so instead of launching the game from the steam you can just make a right in the game manage browse local files and then open the game folder game client and over here you can just make a double click launch the game from here and then check if that does not work make a right click and then go to properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game from here and then check still not working this time put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working in that case this time you can select windows 7 over here and then hit apply click on ok you can even try these and then check still not working you can put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok make a double click and launch the game now when you put a check on all these boxes still not working in that case you can uncheck these boxes from here and then hit apply click on ok and then follow the next step now the next step is to verify the game files now to verify the game files make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files once the verification is 100 complete launch the game and then check now the next step is to do not overclock so if you have overclocked you can just set it to default and then close all the overclocking applications so if you have an msi after burner or reward tuner any kind of overclocking application running close it and then launch the game next step is to rename the save game files create a backup first because you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch so you can open file explorer in computer then go to documents over here over here you can see the game folder just create a backup so copy this and then paste it to the desktop and once you have a backup over here now you can rename this folder make a right click and then click on rename dot old and then then you can check if that does not work go to this pc open c drive users username app data if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items and then open app data local folder and over here but make sure that you create a backup so you can again copy this folder create a backup and once you have a backup then you can rename it and after you rename it launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to now the next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in launch option so make a right click in the game select properties in the launch option type in dash dx11 and then you can launch the game and then check if that does not work type in dash dx12 launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this and then follow the next step now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so to perform a clean installation go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on find and once you click on find you will see this page now here you will find the latest ge force game ready driver now click on view and then once you click on view you will see the download option click on download and let the download complete now once the download is complete run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphics settings in windows search box and then click on graphics settings over here 
and then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder and then select the game exe file and then click on add now once the game is added scroll down find the game in the list now once you find the game click on the game and then select over here select high performance and you will see your graphic card so select your graphic card and then launch the game and then check next step is to install visual c++ file now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website over here you can see visual studio files you have to download this x86 and x64 version so download both the file and then run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install download this x64 file as well and then run this exe file again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install and then click on yes to allow and let the installation complete make sure both the installation are complete now once install then you have to restart your computer so once this is done you can close this and then restart your computer restart is a must after this and after the system restart launch the game and then check next step is to update windows to the latest version now for this you can open windows settings go to windows update or update in security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game next step is to unplug all the external devices so if you have hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected disconnect it disconnect multiple like if you have extra controller connected sometimes we have extra controller the dongle of the controller connected disconnected disconnect controller you're using right now and then launch the game once the game is up and running now you can connect the controller and then check disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game in single monitor also if you have any third party application or services running close it also disable steam overlay now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game and then select properties go to the controller tab and then turn off the option uh, controller uh, sorry for this uh, go to the general tab and then turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game so turn it off and then check also if you have another, any other overlay application running like discord running you can go to discord settings and then turn off overlay if you have nvidia app running so type in nvidia app if you have this nvidia app running you can go to settings and turn off nvidia overlay if this is on you can turn it off and then check also or you can simply close all the overlay application and then launch the game also if you have undervolted the computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game if you are using nvidia app you can go to graphics over here if you see the game over here and if you see the optimize option over here in my case there is no optimize option so if you see optimize you can optimize it next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 
into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte i have 16 gigabyte of ram so 16 into 1024 i have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total ram so total ram is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 491152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to update the BIOS so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number make sure that you select your computer and then update the BIOS now in case of laptop make sure battery is more than 10 percent and the AC adapter the charger is connected to the computer when you update the system BIOS during the BIOS update your system will restart do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS after the BIOS update log into the computer and then launch the game now if nothing is working uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive so for this you can make a right click on the game select manage click on uninstall now after the uninstall delete the game folder from the game installation folder and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to different drive like d drive or e drive or any external drive try to install the game to d, uh, c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive then try to install the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel